Welcome back. Today I'll be testing out this XOX garlic press. I'm going to make a cucumber cold dish and together I'm going to be using some uh, pressed garlics. So let's go to the kitchen and get started. Today's main actor is cucumber. Four cucumber and one garlic. If you guys are interested, let's see how much is my cucumber in New York right now. Right here. So it's 99 cents per pound and four of them is $1.81. Not bad. First thing first, let's go into open this. Just cut the core in the back. So this feels very heavyweight. I'm pretty sure you would do a very good job on pressing it. And then you can clean them well by turning the other side. Let's get started. Let me go wash it and we'll come back and we'll get started. Let's mix everything up. I'm back washing it. So let's start to cut our cucumbers. Excuse for the looking of this cucumber. Obviously, you know, I'm, I don't really know how to cook them evenly. But this purpose of the video is, is to testing out this piece. Let's put all the sauce in and press some garlics. I forgot to peel off some garlics. So this is, um, I'm going to take off some skin from the garlic. But I'm not sure if that's a very, um, you know, easy way. If you do have a better way to peel everything off, please leave me a comment below. And so next time when I make the dish for my family, it will be a lot faster. Yeah. Sometimes I do see like people using knife, um, the big chef knife, just kind of <laughs> press on it and then all the skin will peel off. But I'm not sure, um, you know, maybe I try next time, but for the heck of this time we are just gonna use my hand and try to peel off as much as possible this red pepper powder. We love it spicy, so we just put kind of a lot on top. Okay, so I'm not going to give you a weight measure, so just do whatever that you think will fit your taste. So the second one will be a pure sesame oil, like that. And this will make the cucumber smell really yummy. Put it over it, yeah. And then the third thing we're going to use is some fish sauce. Fish sauce is very salty, so just add a tiny bit. All right, that's it. And then the fourth thing we're going to use is the famous oyster sauce, panda bread. Okay, that will add some of the salty taste and oyster flavor as well. All right. And uh, move on to the fifth thing, I'm going to use some cooking wine. All right, let's make tonight a drunken night. Tiny bit, okay. And the sixth thing we're gonna use 
cooking vinegar. This is the darker vinegar that I kind of like. Although if you do have um, the clear one, the white vinegar, you can use that as well. I'm gonna put more vinegar, make it very sour. And last thing I'm gonna use is sugar. By the way, this one's from XOX2. I bought it from Amazon, it's kind of cool. Hmm. All right, I guess we are done. Oh, but wait, we forgot our garlic. That's the main character today. Let's do garlic. Ta-da! Are you ready? Let's go. Let's add three garlic at a time, or maybe four. All right, upside down and press. Yeah, whoa, look at that. Three more, maybe four. I guess we can put four at a time and press again. Yo. And look at the around it. So there's no leak of garlic, but all the garlic goes to the opening. Inside, it's all clear. By the way, let me just use a toothpick to scrape all the garlic out. All right, let's do a little more. These are the bigger ones. Let's only do three at a time. Let's finish up. Two, three. And last two. Oops. After we mix all the ingredients up, we'll be done with our cold dish. Thank you for this XOF Scarlet Crest. Let me get my fruit gloves on and start to mix. Look at how fine these garlic. Usually I will put this in a salad bowl and use for a chopstick to mix, but today since I'm doing a video, it's easier for me to mix just like that. Mmm, I can smell the garlic. I can smell the garlic, um, garlicky sesame oil. And also I can smell the spicy hot flakes. Mmm, this is gonna be a great dish. Oh, oh, by the way, after I mix everything up, I will put in the refrigerator for like an hour because the cold dish is always nice to serve them super chilly. And we are done. Look at the texture. Isn't that beautiful? Now I know what you're thinking. Is it easy to wash this? Let's go back to the sink and I'm going to wash and you're going to see and let me put this dish back to the refrigerator first. Let's start to wash it. I know what you're thinking, right? You guessed it right. I'm also cooking the cocktail shrimp tonight for my kids. Using the Costco frozen shrimp is like 21 to 22 pounds. Those kind of shrimp. It's really yummy. So let's wash. 
So you always have this little hole, right? Blocked by the gothic. But guess what? In here, because the fact that these are extremely thick and hard rubber, all you need to do is turn them upside down and ta-da, press. And this, watch this. This comes off automatically. See? Just rings. And look at these holes. These holes are almost as clean as they can be. So let's press and wash again. See, almost gone. One more. And we are done. Look at these holes, how clean they are. Look at that. O X O. I'm pretty sure I'll be using this next time again. Hopefully they could last for more than three years. Give a thumbs up.